going on party people? Welcome back to another video. Oh, it's been a minute since we've done a recipe review, but the doc himself has recently shared his anabolic muffin recipe. And I gotta say, if you're new to the channel or haven't seen this video yet, I've done a full day of eating straight from his cookbook version two. And overall, it's been awesome. But with that being said, today we're gonna tackle the anabolic blueberry muffin recipe. And to be honest, I have yet to touch this one. So I'm super excited to see what this recipe brings. Now, full disclosure, guys, I'm a huge fan of blueberry muffins, whether they're from Costco, Starbucks, your local grocery store, or even your local bakery. They're just an absolute classic muffin. And I gotta be real, they bring all kinds of noms. But if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're ready to dive into some anabolic goodness, give this video a big fat thumbs up. But otherwise, let's get into the recipe. Now to kick this recipe off, in terms of ingredients, we're gonna go ahead and use 250 grams of unsweetened applesauce. Then we've got 240 grams or two cups worth of oat flour. Next, we've got 270 grams of fresh blueberries. Then we've got five grams or one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we've got 66 grams of vanilla or cinnamon protein powder. And as always, use code Jason for 10% off. Then we've got 60 grams of egg whites. Next up, we're gonna use 175 grams of fat-free Greek yogurt. Next, we've got six grams of baking powder. And then lastly, we've got four grams of baking soda. Now, just as a heads up guys, this recipe does include five packets of sweetener. However, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that out just because I personally think the whey protein along with the applesauce and the blueberries are gonna give me the right amount of sweetness to satisfy my own craving. But if you guys wanna have something that's gonna be a little sweetener, feel free to add in the five packets. But otherwise, let's go ahead and whip this up. Now, ever since I've started switching over to using a whey and casein protein mix for my baked goods, I gotta say I'm a little sketched out by using just whey protein. So it should be really interesting to see how this turns out. All right, so we've got the dry and the wet ingredients. I've also set the oven to preheat at 325. So we're gonna toss these in in just a second, but next up, let's go ahead and combine our dry and wet ingredients. All right, so these bad boys are about to be put into the oven, but just as an FYI, if you guys ever come across really crusty peaks on top of your baked goods, it's more than likely because you guys have peaks. So I just went ahead and just dabbed the tops of them with a little bit of water. You guys can also do it with some nonstick spray, but otherwise, let's go ahead and get these in the oven and let's see what these are all about. And we're back. These things are looking mighty fine, and I don't know about you, but I'm ready to dive in. So let's get into the three categories, anabolics, taste, and craving. Now in terms of total anabolics, guys, one of these muffins comes out to a total of 175 total calories with a macro breakdown of three grams of fat, 12 grams of protein, and 25 grams of carbs. Now something to keep in mind is that if you're referencing the anabolic cookbook by Greg Doucette, 
Calories are going to be slightly different just because that's gonna be dependent on the ingredients used. And his reference is roughly about 160 total calories. So just keep that in mind. But if we're referencing these anabolic muffins against your everyday store-bought blueberry muffin, you're gonna see a pretty stark contrast. And so for today's purposes, we've got a store-bought Kroger blueberry muffin. And in terms of the total calories and macro breakdown for one of these store-bought blueberry muffins, we're looking at a total of 350 total calories with 17 grams of fat, five grams of protein, and 44 grams of carbs. Pretty stark contrast, but you can also see there is a volume difference as well. In terms of overall weight, one of these store-bought blueberry muffins comes in at roughly about 101 to 105 total grams, whereas one of these bad boys right here comes out to roughly about 77 to 78 total grams in weight. So in terms of anabolics, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this as a solid 7.3. I think across the board, we're sitting pretty even keel when we're taking a look at the total calories. But if you're looking at the macros, yes, this is great in terms of protein. We're getting more than double compared to your everyday store-bought blueberry muffin. But also the carbs are significantly reduced and then also the fat intake as well, which also gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of fitting in different types of foods, maybe seeds or nuts or peanut butter to kind of help fill up the macro on the fat side. But overall, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this as a solid 7.3. And now on to taste. All right, take a look at this butte. So overall, in terms of texture and consistency, I think it's sitting pretty good, very dense. But if you take a look at the top, you also have a real nice shell. Might look a little stiff. I gotta say, it's got a pretty nice feel, I'm gonna be honest. And it also kind of actually looks like a pretty solid oatmeal cookie. So here's a quick mid cut of the anabolic muffin, looking very dense there, almost looking like a cornbread. And on the other hand, our everyday store-bought blueberry muffin with the high fat and sugar content really giving us a very fluffy texture. All right, time for a taste test. Wow, holy smokes. I'm just coming to the realization that I have not mentioned these muffins being rubbery whatsoever ever since I started talking about the taste portion. Guys, I'm impressed. These muffins are pretty solid. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say, mm, I'm gonna rate this as a solid 7.9. I think overall texture consistency, pretty solid. Now, what can you expect? In terms of overall texture and consistency, the closest food that I can really relate this to is cornbread. It's got a very crumbly texture to it and very wholesome. And I imagine that the oat flour is really kind of giving that overall texture. But in terms of the top, this recipe itself might make for a really good oatmeal cookie recipe. Just saying. Overall, this muffin right here gives you half the calories compared to your everyday store-bought blueberry muffin. And I gotta say, 7.9, I'm still sticking with it. Overall texture and consistency, solid. I'm telling you, no rubbery texture to it at all. And you know what, if I really had to compare it to another type of muffin, you know, maybe an oat brand muffin might help kind of paint a better picture. But I gotta say, still definitely very tasty and gives you a great alternative to your everyday store-bought blueberry muffin. Now in terms of overall craving, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you're looking for a healthier option, a lower calorie option, and want a nice sweet treat when it comes to blueberry muffins, this is gonna be the recipe for you. These will definitely pack in a lot more protein and just be way more macro-friendly compared to your everyday store-bought blueberry muffin. But at the end of the day, in terms of overall taste and sweetness factor, yes, you could add in way more sweetener to the recipe. I didn't add any today, but you're not really gonna get that same buttery fluffiness that you really get from your everyday store-bought blueberry muffin. So just be sure to set your expectations when you're trying this recipe out. But overall, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a solid 7.5. I really think that this does a great job in terms of really giving you one, the total calories being half the amount compared to your everyday store-bought blueberry muffin, being super macro-friendly and also giving you way more protein than what you would typically get. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and give this a solid 7.5. Well guys, we just covered the three categories, anabolics, taste, and craving for a total score of 7.5. Well, this recipe definitely surprised the hell out of me. It held in a ton of moisture, gave a great bite, and did what it needed to do in terms of giving you guys protein for your favorite blueberry muffins. Can it be made better? 
I'm gonna go ahead and leave that up to you. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me tackle this one. But guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Thanks for tuning in to another anabolic recipe review. If you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got some solid anabolic blueberry goodness out of this, give this video a big fat thumbs up. But otherwise, stay safe, stay swole. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.